Hello everybody. So as I said in my previous video uh, regarding my air compressor, I want to change the, uh, replace the uh, cables, the wire, uh, which is pretty thin. It's only an 18 gauge wire, which in metric that would translate to about 1.02 millimeters to this 8 gauge uh, jumper cable, booster cables, uh, wire, which would um, better, um, I guess, uh, bring the, uh, the the voltage from the battery to the uh, um, compressor, as the uh, longer cable with direct current. Anyway, with longer cables, the voltage tends to uh, tends to drop. Uh, so this would carry the current a little bit better. I uh, got this stuff from um, Walmart last night for a whopping total of $10.78, which includes taxes here in California. $9.87. Okay. Um, pretty cool here. I don't really care about the box. Um, it comes on with a nice pouch. Okay. Uh, you can store it, but again, for for my purposes, wow, this is a pretty big one. Um, I won't be needing this thing. Um, it will be okay. So what I'll do, I'll cut two ends, of course, of black and white, positive and negative, and. Two of them, of course, I'll keep. Yeah, they're going to the battery. Yeah, the wire is pretty thick here. Anyway, it's crimped over there. I'll uh, I'll cut it somewhere around here. Anyway, um, and I'm going to do a voltage test, kind of before and after at the battery and at the uh, terminal motor end of the um, um, air compressor wire to see kind of a before and after uh, what's the uh, voltage at the battery what the compressor receives at the end of my roughly 13 foot wire and then after we do the mod with these wires we will check it again at the battery and at the motor and see if we have some real uh, difference there, okay, except for, of course, the theoretical one. All right, so here would be the reason why I want such a long wire. Uh, some people may ask why 12 feet, why the 7 or 8 foot one is not enough. Um, on my Land Cruiser here, anyway, if I want to, let's say, go to the uh, furthest out wheel, put some air in, see where the 12 foot um, and it's relatively what about four feet away from uh, from from my tire now the on and off button um, is on the uh, end cap of the uh, uh, compressor so if I'm here trying to fit that thing in I want to have access relatively close by to the on and off button of the uh, compressor uh, with the other one being so short it would kind of end up I don't know somewhere up in the air um, <laughs> over there which would not really be convenient maybe on the uh, uh, sidestep over here so anyway that's the reason I really want a longer wire and I had to get a um, a thicker gauge, 8 gauge, just so it can carry the uh, voltage better uh, all the way to the end. Okay, so the um, the fuse I'm thinking of just kind of maybe having it somewhere over here, a 30 amp fuse for this application, really close to the uh, to the battery end of the wire. Uh, I'll just uh, cut this little thing, put the uh, inline fuse, and uh, that's about it. I was thinking about some Anderson couplers um, at the other end, uh, but I just want to keep it with fewer 
or as few as possible um, connections, you know, uh, wire connections. Uh, just if possible, one straight wire, and that's it. But um, that's not going to be. It's got a relay inside there. I'm, I'm thinking of actually uh, having this, well, the other end anyway, uh, go straight to the relay instead of the uh, little tiny. Uh, I'll show you later on, uh, wire inside there, and again, for the same purpose, just keep it, uh, keep it kind of simple. The type of fuse that I'm talking about, this is a uh, another 8-gauge wire that goes to my uh, subwoofer amplifier, but anyway, this, is, this would be the type of um, uh, fuse that I will use um, for the uh, jumper cables, okay? Okay, so now let's check out the um, voltage at the battery terminal. Okay, so we got pretty much hmm, 13. Let's call it 13 volts right here at the terminal. Okay, and we'll check out what the air compressor receives at the uh, motor. I'll have to uh, disassemble it and check it out over there. Okay, so here's my uh, wire, my butch job here. <laughs> um, I use this uh, piece of wire right here from a, uh, a battery charger maintainer. Uh, this would be where the original alligator clamps were um, for the um, compressor. This tape stops at 12 feet right there, so I would say maybe another good two feet okay of uh, wire so maybe 14 let's say 14 14 feet of um, um, total wire right here okay and the voltage drops substantially and well it's gonna be shorter by two feet anyway and not a whole lot of difference but the wire will be substantially thicker from an 18 gauge to an 8 gauge. So from 1.02 millimeter diameter of the wire to a 3.26 millimeter for those of you outside US. And this is one of the reasons I really want to get rid of this uh, wire. Um, again, it's a really great idea, uh, great design, badly implemented. The wiring inside is kind of bad too. This is how it always was. So, not cool. Okay, so I don't understand why the uh, fuse is so close uh, to the um, compressor here instead of being closer to the uh, alligator clamps there, but that's something else. Okay, so these are, this is the wiring. This yellow cap, I put it there because there was this little thing which wasn't even fastened. I just kind of pulled on it slightly and it's came loose. The wires were exposed just like you see these guys over there. Uh, but this is the ground. Mm, okay. But the positive ones were exposed really badly. So as a temporary fix I used that thing over there. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I, uh, I got the wires hooked up to the battery and we're gonna check the uh, voltage right here in just a second. Okay, I'm gonna zero this guy out come back sure how exactly I'm gonna do this with only two hands um, it's gonna be a little I, I just did it before I started the uh, the camera here looked like it dropped 2.7 I don't want to short anything because this this is a tight fit um, hmm. okay Let's see if I can safely do it somehow I doubt it. Have maybe the camera look at the uh, the voltage meter here. Maybe do it this way. Probably a little better, a little, a little safer. Let's see. Let's not blow anything up. Or start a fire. All right. No, 
it's not moving. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, so about 12.7. Let's just say 12.7. So 0.3 volts drop with this wire from 13 to uh, all right, 12.7. Okay. Connected these big cables to the battery and. Let's read this here. Yeah. 12.79, 12.8. Not a huge drop though in voltage compared to the uh, smaller wire, 18 gauge versus 8. A um, little surprised, but anyway, um, it was a. Um, okay, with the 18 gauge, the uh, percentage drop would be uh, about 2.3 okay let's see if we can find it here yeah here we go let's focus a little bit uh, 18 doesn't want to here we go 18 gauge wire okay so Walmart claims this is a uh, 8 gauge We'll do the math uh, and come back. Let's say 12.78. So with these guys, I just did uh, the math. It's 1.7% um, drop in voltage versus 2.3, I said, um, for these guys. So they're, they're well under 3%, which is acceptable. But I still believe this will work far better uh, than the... Uh, oh, forgot to mention, this little guy here warms up like crazy um, after about two minutes you can barely touch this wire right here um, it just heats up way too much for my comfort so don't like that all right so um, I cut the uh, wires off the clamps here uh, these uh, these two ends will be the ones going to the air compressor they will go of course to the battery and this one the red one We'll get a uh, an inline fuse, maybe right about there, um, just a few inches away from the uh, terminal. All right. Or I've uh, put the uh, wires right through here. I didn't have to bore this thing out or anything. Um, it had this wire catch right here. Anyway, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty snug. However, I'm thinking of uh, we'll see if this thing fits. Um, clamp the wire over there, make sure it doesn't come out. It's kind of thick though. We'll, we'll see how this works. And see how thick this new 8 gauge wires are compared to the original ones. They're uh, pretty good. Hope they're gonna do a better job anyway. This thing here I'm going to pull the, uh, well, first of all, I'll use some electrical tape around it. Just make sure nothing's going to touch. Pull the wire out a little bit until this touches the cap, and that's it. I'm really glad my wife's not home. I made a mess over here on her floor. Uh, but I'll uh, try to clean it up really quickly before she comes home. Wish me luck. And she's all buttoned up here. Right. So... All I got left now is to install the um, inline fuse, which I got it right here, 30 amp. So we're uh, we're almost done. And then I'm not gonna use the old bag. I'll use something else. So this one, as as you can see. It's as if mice lived here. It's got holes. It's old anyway. And I'll be using that. It's a 50 cal ammo box. All done. The fuse is in. 
This is solid, solid here. Looks beautiful. Got to vacuum the floor. And what I will have to do in order for this thing to fit inside the ammo box, um, I cannot take one of the uh, one of these uh, screws out. For some reason, it comes out like half away, and then it gets really, really stuck. And I, I don't want to break it. I don't want to stretch it and you know do anything bad to it. So I just put them back in. And what I'm going to do, I'll bend this one down. Okay, so I'll try to kind of flatten it out because it's only a little bit right here that sticks out and prevents the lid from closing all the way. Um, it, if I bring it to, to this level right here, it will be just fine. So it's only like, what, an inch total from here to here um, to bring it out and it will, it will fit in. Uh, the cable bends nicely over here. This is pretty flexible. Uh, it's not really stiff. Uh, that's kind of what I was looking for anyway. So I'll uh, I'll come back with a with a shot of the final product here. All right, the project is all done. Um, anyway, this ammo can I got it from Costco. As you can see, it's a two deal, uh, two can deal here. Uh, Thirty and a fifty. This is the fifty mo uh, fifty caliber. Um, I believe nineteen dollars for both of them at Costco. Anyway. Would you believe it? It's all in here. Check it out. Okay, it all fit in there. Got the filter right here. Uh, tire gauge. I managed to squeeze it in here somewhere. You can see the tip of it anyway. Um, well, it's in there. There you go. That's the tip of it. Uh, cable. I've got a little bit of a, uh, well, just one um, surgical, I guess, glove there. Uh, so I don't get dirty. Anyway, um, this has been a fun project. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and we'll come up with some more fun projects in the future. Thank you very much for watching again, guys. Those of you concerned about the weight, well, as much as I am, let's try to weigh this thing here as it is with everything inside. So we're looking at 16.2 pounds. So this is the case, of course, the uh, compressor, the wire, um, the hose, the uh, air, the uh, tire pressure gauge, and I guess the filter. And that's about it. Oh, and the one glove. Big, yeah. Came out quickly here for a test. Plugged it in there. Um, no load, I just want to hear it. That thing is loud. It, I can hear the difference there. That thing is very, very loud, so I guess there's a lot of juice going in there. Uh, before it was a lot more sluggish than that. So, really, really, really happy. Thank you guys for watching again. That's a bonus video right here. Thanks.